Hey everyone, this is Adam from Honest Home Inspections. Today we're going to be updating one of our existing light fixtures in our living room. Uh, we've gone ahead and painted our walls, and hung up a few of the family decorations, but this old gold light fixture isn't going to really fit with our new look. So instead of going out and buying new light fixtures, we're just going to update this one by taking it down off the wall and spray painting it black. The first thing we have to do, of course, is shut off the power. That's already been accomplished at this breaker box, and I've tested it out. In order to get this sconce cover off, got to take out the light bulb first. Unscrew, like so. And that guy falls out. This one unscrews from the wall with this gold bolt there. Now it is sort of painted from the wall, so I gave it a squish to break it loose. And when you come back here, everything is pushed back into the box. We'll bring that all forward so we can more easily get at it. Looks like they did some really fun things with the ground here. It is not necessary for them to have doubled up that ground so much. Grab a screwdriver. Get this ground out of the way. Just grounding to the house ground because this is three wire Romex is sufficient for this light fixture. This grounding to the box that this green screw provides is a necessary solution when you have a metal box you have older electricity such as greenfield which is that electricity the electrical wires that run within a metal conduit that doesn't have the standalone ground but we got a standalone ground in this house so really all we need to do is connect our ground to ground and we assemble this back together all right, so we're going to clean this guy up. It's kind of dusty. It has some painter's tape left on it. We're going to use some goof off, clean it up, get it nice and clean, and then we'll go ahead with the spray painting of this. Okay, we've gotten both sconces off the walls. They're all cleaned up now. We only had to use like a little bit of goof off for some tape residue. We're going to be using Rust-Oleum's Universal Hammered All Surface Black Paint and Primer. Hopefully it's going to adhere nicely to this shiny gold and make it look nice and nice and hammered black. Uh, we've gone ahead and tucked all the wires underneath. I also put masking tape over the electrical. Uh, here, let me swing that around for you. Over where the light goes so we're not compromising the electrical components as we spray paint here. important to get it from as many directions as possible. I also took care to make sure that this nut was slightly elevated so that it's getting the same color as everything else. Just going around double checking. This might have a, since it's a hammered look, May take two coats. Seeing a little bit of gold popping through, which actually gives a neat look to it. I think I got it all. All right, so it's been a couple hours. We hammered on black, it is dry and ready to go back up. We've turned the power back off. All right, so white to white, black to black, looping the wire over. So that's going clockwise so that when you tighten the wire nut on, it is also going clockwise, but that did not get on tight enough. It came right off. 
I just want to give it a little pull, make sure it's on there. Good, that one's secure. Get that guy. Oh, I see what they did here before. Earlier this was connected to here, but we're going to make sure that it just connects ground to ground. Wrap that puppy on there nice and secure. I'll make sure the ground is one of the most important connections that we make here. Okay, get that on. Push all the wires back into the box. So that we can get this guy to seat with any luck. There it goes. And we can take off our tape. And we grab our scots, cover. That hasn't changed. But it looks. Very different now. And the light bulb. All right, that's how it looks. Put electricity back on and turn it on. Watch out. I don't want to hit you.